Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to be showing you the best way to mine for ancient debris so you can make netherite. And emphasis on the word mine because in this method we're not going to be using beds or TNT. If you like me, they can be a little bit of a pain to get hold of in great quantities. And of course, it's a lot more dangerous when you're blowing things up. So in this method we're just going to be strip mining and I'm going to show you all the tips and tricks that you need to know in order to get as much ancient debris as possible and get yourself kitted out with some cool netherite armor, weapons and tools. Let's get into it. Now, ancient debris spawns most frequently at Y15. So I recommend mining at Y14. That's right, you heard me, Y14. And I'm gonna explain now why this is. So Y15 is the most popular level for ancient debris spawning. Y14 is second. Now, if you're digging out a tunnel, you want both the two most popular levels being the ones you dig out. That way, you're not getting just a small amount of visibility in the ceiling or in the floor. You're getting it where you're digging, in front of you and in the walls. So you're covering all bases. So with that in mind, Y14 is the one you want to be at, being as when we click F3, the reading we get for the Y coordinate is where our feet is. Using the same logic, I'd like to just explain something that a few people didn't quite understand with my how to find diamonds video. Now, a good point was raised by someone in the comments that you should mine at Y11 uh, and you'd still see Y10 in the floor. The problem with this is, is that you're limiting your visibility an awful lot. Now, for diamonds, the most popular levels are Y11 and then Y10, followed by Y12. Now, if we were just mining here, we wouldn't have found anything. However, if we were down at Y10, which is this, there we go we found diamonds and of course we wouldn't have found those had we been mining at Y11 because we would have just walked right over them with no visibility. So by mining at that level, at those two most popular levels, you're seeing the ore that you're looking for in the walls as well as in front of you. We can apply what we've learned there with the diamonds to netherite too. Next tip I want to focus on is you definitely want to use some of these ores as a means of recharging your pickaxe. If you take a fortune pick with you, you're going to be able to recover some of that durability that you would have lost otherwise from experience. If you do find a piece of ancient debris, don't just mine that one piece and carry on. Mine around it a bit. You'll probably find that there's one or two more in most cases, and then you're, you're going to increase the amount you find tenfold by just looking around where you found the one piece. And finally, you might want to take with you, as well as a pick, a shovel. Because in the nether, you're going to find quite a lot of gravel. And man, this stuff is annoying. Also, if you weren't already aware, good way to uh, sort out gravel. Bring a torch with you. That'll sort out the lot until it's all gone. Right, so now we've gone through all those tips and tricks. I'm going to do a one-hour time-lapse of me mining on a survival server. And we're going to see how much we get. I estimate that around about 20 will be the average because that's what I average in an hour, but we'll see what the results hold. Let's go. All right, here we are. We are at Y14 now. So what we've done is we've put our crafting bench and a chest and we've got an empty shulker box here, not for smooth stone today. And I'm gonna just mine, basically going in this direction, maybe a bit in that direction. I'm gonna do a one hour time lapse and we're gonna see how much results we've got at the end of it. And hopefully, I won't get unlucky, I will actually find the usual amount and you'll see just how good this method actually is. Completely holds up to TNT and beds in my opinion. Let's go.
right, so here we are, we're back. We've done our mining session. Let's take a look at what we got. In that one hour session, we got 21 pieces of ancient debris, a ton of gold nuggets, which will be more than enough to supplement these and make bars of netherite. Quite a lot of quartz too. And of course, the odd bit of blackstone and basalt that I kept, although these are now both renewable. They have been for a while, but you can now get these from picking and trading. So it's nice to have, but it's not essential. But there we go. I hope that that's proved to you that strip mining is just as good as method as any when it comes to finding ancient debris. With what we found, we'd be able to upgrade a full set of diamond armor plus one of our tools if we wanted. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. That was a good success in my book. I hope this has helped you and thanks for watching. See you next time.